Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Langrisser mobile series. And we are here to explore our newly pulled character and the sadness that we didn't get the one we wanted, Sigma. So we were looking for Lambda, we got Sigma and we will make the best out of it. Who is Sigma, you ask yourself? Well, he is the protagonist or one of the two protagonists of Langrisser 5. And Sigma is actually an experiment together with Lambda and they were both being experimented upon to revive, I'm pretty sure Harvester of Ice probably has a better video on it, uh, but uh, it's, it's unclear that they are direct descendants of any, um, of any light character. However, they're still protagonists and therefore they belong to the protagonist category. Oh, look at all the people that I don't have. So sad. Um, they also belong to Meteor, which makes them a classic ranged unit that can destroy enemies in the battlefield. Maybe we end up using him in PvP, because because we drew him, I guess. Uh, and finally, he's part of the Yeles Legends, which is a pretty cool faction. Not only that, um, he's also a faction buffer for the Yeles faction. So in the strange case that you decided not to go for Landius, or you don't have him maybe, um, he is a... It's, it's a buffer. It's not really a very good buff because it increases damage when your HP is lower than 80%. And odd. Um, but I guess that is a thing. Okay, I mean, after all, it's it's still a faction buff, right? So, not to be ignored. So, uh, the first thing that we will see is Solitary Will. When attacking, attack increases by 5%. Attack uh, Increases to attack are much better to inc than increases that to damage. So that's a very cool thing already. If you haven't attacked this round and you are on defense increasing terrain, you can take one additional action. So I will explain this soon. At the same time, obtain the snipe status. Unit range plus one, cannot move, last one turn, cannot be dispelled, can act again for turn cold. Um, I think, I think we, because of the double pull, sadness, uh, we are able to upgrade the stars, and we can see where their stats will increase. Ah, Lambda. Fighting grade upgraded. Um, the attack increases by 3%, I'm gonna guess it ends at either 15% or 20 at 6 stars, maybe 25 even. And then uh, the cooldown reduces by 1, but not the range. So I'm guessing uh, on 5 stars the range increases to plus 1, uh, plus 2, I'm sorry. And then on 6 stars, uh, the turn cooldown increases or decreases to 2 turns cooldown. Okay, so what else do we know about this person? He has Neutralizing Fire as a base skill. It's a 2 pointer that says, attacks a single enemy uh, with a two, ro 2 blocks range, so he starts as an archer. Um, dealing damage equal to 125 damage. Okay, that's, that's on the low side. When you are on defensive terrain, Deals fixed damage once before battle begins, so it you get a free backstab. That's very very decent now. It turns off any type of protection on people, so this is not to be ignored. Okay, let's see. Um, let's go on the classes. Another unlock on on archer. Um, so assist. This is passive. Uh, pff, this is active. I'm sorry. It's a buff. Active skill. Terrain you are standing on will be regarded as forest. Last one turn. Can attack again after a use. Okay, so this text is kinda useless because what it's actually doing is making your ground forest and it makes you act again immediately. So this is basically a, a talent trigger. You can run ahead. It's uh, aim if you want. An aim equivalent. Except you also get a tiny forest below you. That's cute. Uh, if we go the melee path. Savage attack. This is uh, cooldown 3, range 1. Cooldown 3, okay. Attacks a single enemy, dealing damage equal to 1.2 damage. When you are on defensive terrain, cast stun on enemies before battle begins. Before battle begins, this is very decent. So you can already combo this and this if you were to go the melee route. I think, I think you are even able to use this uh, as an archer anyway. But the thing is, the damage will be reduced greatly unless you use an extreme magic bow. Okay. Uh, Vindicator. Okay, so here is the faction legend, uh, faction buff that we mentioned, and also attack break, a very singular um, one point debuff to reduce enemy attack. Roundabout. This is one of the passives of uh, of Narm. 
When attacking, increases damage dealt by 10%. Decent. Uh, after battle, you may move another two blocks. The bonus movement opportunity has a one turn cooldown. Okay. So you cannot do this every single time, but every two turns you can do it. Especially if you have the act again thingy. You can uh, attack, move, move two blocks, then use foresting, get the extra bonus, attack again, and again move to after battle. That was pretty cool. Deathmatch. Uh, when entering battle, a unit's attack and skill increase by 12%, but you decrease. Okay. So this makes you more of a class cannon. Strong wind snipe. Uh, range 4 blocks. I guess it can be upgraded to 6 if you have the, the passive thingy, the act again. Cooldown 4 rounds. It's not 5. That's interesting. Attacks a single enemy, dealing damage equal to 0.8 damage. That's very bad. The further you are from the target, the higher the damage will be. Damage dealt will increase by 15% for each one additional block. Okay, so if you hit someone at 4 range, that turns this into a 1.4 damage attack. Um, for each one additional, up to 90%. And at maximum, it's a 1.7 attack. After battle, mobility plus 2 lasts one turn. Okay, that's uh, a bunch of stuff, but I don't know how good that really is. Hello Soli, welcome. What is there in here? Sneak. When initiated in battle, crit can be increased by 10%, damage taken decreased by 20. Okay. That's such a weird character. I mean you obviously build him as a as an archer in a sniper tower, right? That that is that is the intention of the creators. And uh, this game has live PvP, right? I, can I ignore it without missing out on much? Hate PvP in gacha games. You can absolutely ignore it a hundred percent. And there's even uh, where is it? There's even an asynchronous PvP where you play against uh, bots being uh, sorry uh, player factions controlled by bots, which makes the fight a lot easier. And you can you can gather enough rewards from this. It's not really PvP. It's just uh, measuring yourself against others. So yes, Soli, you can absolutely play this game without participating in PvP. Uh, there are no unique rewards associated with PvP other than uh, frames, so uh, things like this for your avatar. Maybe maybe skins? I don't know. I, I guess skins, yes. Uh, just on the latest patch, so you, not, you have not missed anything on the latest matches. There is also live PvP, so you can participate in that, but you're not forced to. Let's continue on Sigma because there's one more thing that is important about him and that is the soldiers so sigma does not seem to have access to any of the soldiers that i have unlocked oh damn it <laughs> uh, my archers are not my strength so you can already see here where are the tier three here shinobis i have not unlocked firebrand sniper i have not unlocked uh dark Earth sniper i have not unlocked so which one which of these is bad? Uh, critical hits deal extra damage after battle. 7% of a unit's max HP. Okay, this is very decent. What is this? When attacking, attack increases by 10%, deals extra damage equal to 5% of enemy max HP after battle. So, this is just tied on a crit, but because this is Meteor Faction buff, uh, Meteor Faction person, you can go the route of crits easily. And what about the Dark Elf Sniper? When attacking units with 100% HP after entering battle, uh, attack after entering battle. Okay, so this is a little bit too late because this unit has this uh, backstab capability. Okay, backstab equivalent, I guess. Uh, yes. The Leviathans are technically range 2, so what do they do? When in water and attacking units above 50% uh, HP after entering battle, Okay, it's when in water, then attack gets increased. That's not really good. Is it a good time to start? Says Soli. Uh, you heard about the sweep feature. I initially quit because dailies felt like they took forever uh, thinking of picking it up again. I can totally recommend picking it up again, uh, especially if you want to go on one of the newer servers, but if you can want to continue your old account, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I believe this is a very good time to come back because specifically of the sweeps. Um, anything you have beaten alone, and now we sweep by the click of a button and that feels really really good. Okay, I really don't think I will be using Sigma, sadly. Um, 
I guess in the case I would be using Sigma, I would probably be using Shinobis with him. Uh, because I will be using him for PvP, and for PvP ninjas are a little bit better. Um, especially on stats. But who knows, maybe one of these was actually the correct choice. Ah, what is this? Ooh, High Elf, that's interesting. Do we have do we have the skin? That. Uh, I didn't see this one. Attack and defense increased by 10% in woods and mountain terrain. Okay, so there you go. That is that is actually the answer that you needed for Sigma. Um, high Elves would be the unit that I go for. Mm -hmm. Equipment. What would I be using? Let's see, if you use Extreme Magic Bow, your skills actually do not get an extra range. If you use an Extreme Magic Bow... Did I say Extreme Magic Bow? Yes, so if you use uh, Ulrus Bow, your skills don't... Ulrus Bow? Your skills don't get an extra uh, range. If you use an Extreme Magic Bow, you are able to use effectively the Shield Slam attack. That would be super interesting. I'm pretty sure you could surprise a lot of enemies with that, right? So. You move, you move your three or whatever, and then you go, yeah, Ranger's Heart, stand still uh, next to you, act again, Savage Attack, destroy someone in melee, especially with Extreme Magic Bow, allowing you to attack with everything, and boom, enemy's dead. Uh, I think, obviously, Last Rites becomes the best uh, gear here, in case you are able to survive one hit. So yeah, I think Extreme Magic Bow and... Uh, this is a very standard build, I guess. And last rights go here. And then in here... So you get to act twice, which means something like this could be useful. Uh, but when are you really gonna be two blocks away from the enemy? Mm, that's a very tricky question. So what could you do? Anything that gives you survival, I guess. I have, n I have really no idea what, what is the best in slot. I'm gonna guess it's this one because it has HP and defense, which are very basic stats that everybody needs. And uh, if you get close enough to people, you may be able to also debuff them with uh, damage dealt decrease. And accessories, I'm gonna go with any generic accessory that allows you to attack. Uh, I would say this character is very straightforward. Maybe it's even Lone Star Armlet, the one that is correct, in order to uh, take advantage of moving away, activating the attack again and shooting from 10 million tiles away. Hey, have we left anything out? Nope, I believe that was it. I The attack is A, it's not even S. Mm. I don't know if I will be using this character. Maybe, maybe I'll do some more research on him. It's just a shame that I wanted Lambda so bad and I got nothing. I didn't get nothing, that's a lie. I got three SSRs, it's nothing of what I wanted. There we go. Okay, so right before I finish, I'm gonna go through everyone that may have gotten uh, new upgrades, new shards, like Peraqua, for example. Then we can all watch together some starring of heroes. Uh, where am I? A Civil War of 5 stars. Cute. Hmm. Who is next? Varna. I'm so unlucky that I didn't get any shards of Varna. Oh, 120 over there, that's close. Hey, Sonia six stars. That's cute. Formal, nothing. Sixty over there. Not even close. Emeric not there. Hundred and forty. Uh, there we go. So um, Egbert is not quite ready yet, and Lifan is actually very close. And I guess that is it because Chris was not reaching max either. Oh, there we go. Five stars. Okay. Now it's uh, three friendly units within two blocks. It's pretty cute. I like Gimelda. 
Maybe one day we'll end up using her. Okay, so that will be the end of exploring uh, Sigma. Sadly, it's not really what we wanted. Not one hero that will alone... I don't want to shout over Imelda. Uh, it's not a hero that will carry you alone. Uh, he's nothing more than one more DPS character. Has some nice gimmicks, uh, but overall it leaves a, a bitter taste in, in our mouth as it was nothing compared to the most recent PvP heroes. Alright, so I'll be coming back soon and we'll try to play some PvP. See you soon!